Welcome to Italian. Italian is about uh, showing people how to cook uh, Italian food. Today I will show you how to make pizza and uh, this pizza I call it lazy pizza because it's so easy to do that uh, you will be amazed. It's not uh, the thin pizza you can have in an Italian pizzeria but it's a quite common pizza you can have in South Italy, Central Italy, especially in rural areas. So let's uh, do it. Okay, now I'll show you how to prepare the pizza dough. First of all we need some uh, lukewarm water, 380 milliliters. Okay, inside this jar we start to put some sugar. There you go. And stir. Quantity of sugar is one teaspoon. Okay, now we take fresh yeast, okay, 20 grams, and we break the yeast, okay, into the jar, very easy, and again, we stir, okay, so we melt the yeast, and that's it. Now, flour, 600 grams of flour. Italian type double zero, the best for pizza. Fix the bowl into the mixer. We take half tablespoon of salt. Okay. And now we can start. Slow speed. Okay. Now we add the water. Not all the water, just half of it. And we set this to the number one. Okay. Too stiff, so we add more water. Water again. And now we add 60 milliliters of olive oil. Into the bowl. And now we let the mixer to work for five minutes. Okay, we take the dough out. As you can see, this is a very, very soft dough with a high content of water, and this is exactly what I need for this kind of pizza. Okay, this is not the kind of dough you need to need. Okay. It's very difficult to handle, but I will show you now how to do it. With uh, 600 grams of flour, you can probably make three teams, okay? Olive oil, I will put some olive oil in each team. Be generous, okay? One, two, and three. Now, the dough is very, very soft, so there's no way I can touch it without getting oily. So, and in the oil and I take my first part of dough, very soft. And now I spread the dough inside the tin. Okay, in this way. Okay, press down, press down and stretch. Don't worry about the oil. Okay, so this one is the first one. Okay, now here is the second tin. There you go, and we spread, nice, nice and gentle, okay, don't worry, if you have any holes here, you can patch the hole like that, very easy, this is like playing with a pleader, my kids would love it, not a bit, need more, okay, and we spread, there you go, until it's as wide as the tin. Now, the third tin. Again, we repeat exactly what we did before with the other two. We spread the dough inside the tin. Can you see all this olive oil? Don't worry. Okay, you need to be generous with the olive oil. The olive oil will be absorbed after, during the rising of the dough. So, you need really to cover all the surface with olive oil. This will make also the pizza very crispy. 
Now, we need to raise the dough. You have a couple of options here. The first option, if the kitchen is very warm, is just to cover with a kitchen towel and leave it for two hours. Even better, using clean films. The second option, if it's quite cold, draft, you open the oven, oven off, you start to put your tin inside here. One, two, and the third one here. And now the trick. You boil the kettle, and the bottom you put some boiled water. This water will create a nice, warm and moist environment which will help the, the dough to rise. And now, like that, have enough, leave it for two hours, do something else.